flutter kick is an abdominal and hip flexor exercise. Starting position for this one is gonna be down flat on our back with our legs extended out straight, our hands either down the floor at our sides or underneath of those hip bones. We're gonna keep those legs out nice and straight. We're gonna lift them up off the ground. One leg is gonna go up as high as it comfortably can, staying straight. The other leg is just covering slightly off the floor. And then we're gonna be switching back and forth in that flutter kick movement. Throughout this movement, we wanna be focused on keeping the abs engaged, belly button pushed down into that spine, and that low back pressed into the floor so that our abdominals are doing all of that work. Most common mistake I see made on this one is that movement coming at the knee joint instead of at the hip joint. So what that's gonna look like is those legs are gonna be slightly bent and we're kind of kicking our legs like this. That's not using the abdominals as much, that's using more of the quads to kind of just bend the knee and extend it. Instead, we want those legs moving as one big unit from the foot all the way up to the hip. So keep those legs as straight as you can getting that movement all coming at the hip joint. Another big common mistake is letting that low back arch off of the ground and not focus on keeping it pressed down throughout that movement. That's gonna transfer the focus from our abs onto other muscle groups. We wanna focus on pushing it into the floor, engaging our core so that that core is doing the work throughout this movement. If you need to start a little bit uh, at a little easier version of this exercise and progress up to that, what you're going to do is you're going to, instead of keeping those feet elevated that entire time, we're going to keep them down on the floor. We're going to raise one on up at a time while the other one is resting on the floor. So this could be an easy progression. You can start here if you feel really comfortable with this movement and keeping that low back pressed into the floor, then lift them up off the ground and do that same thing. But as soon as you feel that low back start to come up, that back arch, that transfer leaving the abs, they're too tired to perform any longer, it transfers into other muscle groups, that's when you want to stop, take a little rest break, and then focus on going back into it, keeping those abs engaged and that belly button pushed in to the spine. 